Guten Morgen, muchachos. How are you doing? Welcome back to Football Digest Daily. My name is Nyash, an elated one. Like I said, squeezy. Every day just daily I'm doing on Monday, I'm always super happy, man. Because, you know, my team is winning. I mean, we're just cruising. Yeah? We're just cruising, man. So, what are we can't just been? Game week, I think game week 29 or 28. I, like I keep telling you, you see game weeks in Nishan Changanya. I'm confused already. Uh, so, of course, we had a plethora of games being played on Sunday. A few games being played on Saturday. Uh, we had three games on Saturday. We had um, Brighton versus Liverpool, the early kickoff. Nothing much really there to talk about. Apart from some howler that was not called by the referee. Sanchez cluttered Luis Diaz, a good one, when he was scoring the first goal. A proper. How that was not given as a red card, I don't know. I have no idea. Another howler by VAR, man. So, uh, absolutely cluttered me when he was getting the first goal. Was not given a red card. I don't know why the fuck not, but it is what it is. Then Liverpool made it 2-0, I think courtesy of Mo Salah. Yes, decent win for Liverpool. Nothing fancy, but three points in the bag. Uh, now they are how many points? Three points closer to, to Manchester City, of which of whom who are, they are playing today against Crystal Palace. Right? Then we had Brentford versus Burnley, the game at 6 o'clock. Burnley, uh, Burnley got beat 1-0. Ivan Tony with the only goal for Brentford. Now Mekata Nyuele, by the way. Uh, no, I think he actually got two goals. Yeah, a header and a penalty. And what I like about the first goal is that it was assisted by Ericsson, man. I, I, I love to see that. I absolutely love to see that. Um, so, 2-0 win for Brentford. And you could have almost thought that game was 8-0. Because this score, I think, the 80-something minute. Uh, so, yeah, 2-0 win for Brentford. Then we had the last game between Man United and Spurs. And boy, oh boy, what a game that was. I was watching it alongside uh, uh, Joe Saina and another man, new fan. I have a different name for him. I don't know his other name. Yes, uh, and, and boy, I can tell you by the way, watching a game with me can give, I, I can give you, I can make you hate me. Yeah, well, I, how did you turn to Chukia? It's you, Ongo. I was telling a Chelsea fan yesterday, if you don't know me well and decide to watch a game with me when your team is playing, you'll hate me. I swear to God, I can throw you like crazy. Yeah, crazy ass banter and trolls. So I was watching that and of course, Man United won that game 3-2. Ronaldo with a hat trick, man. Coming back from, I think I live in uh, how many games now? I think I scored one goal in the last almost 10 games. So, came back after missing the derby, banged in a hat trick. Of course, he has a good record against Spurs, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, and of course, Spurs tried to get back into it, made it 2 2 at some point. I'm thinking, ah, he gave me Baksha Tuba Umoja. You know, nice. He funga Tuba Atatu Ikweni Spurs or something. You know, uh, but yeah, United are the ones who scored that goal, courtesy of Cristiano Ronaldo. Again, three very good goals, by the way. I gotta give it to him. They were, they were properly very good goals. And of course, Man United, I'm sure they felt the relief. The relief, because, hey, Nikubaya, uko, Nikubaya. Um, and of course, that made them go forth for the time being. Uh, and Spurs again. I think Spurs is fair enough now to count them out of the top four race. Now, like, absolute, like, Kabisa. You know, you're cooking, you know, oh, bad, oh, bad. I, I think we should just count them out now. They're done. You're motoy Now we're dealing with United for the top four. This is Arsenal. So very good win for United there. Three two win. Um, anything worth talking about in that game apart from that goal hat trick? Nah, I don't see any. Uh, then of course on Saturday we had so many games. We had Southampton versus Watford. Watford won that game two one. Can you imagine Southampton all of a sudden they have lost? Is it three games in a row? They lost against Aston Villa, got cluttered for Zwingapi 4-0. Then I think they lost midweek, and now they have lost against Watford. As in, I, I don't get it. One point they are doing really well. There's a point, I think it the top three, uh, it, they were the top three most informed team after Liverpool and Arsenal, then Soton. Now, three games in a, in a row, they've taken an L. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All of a sudden, as a crystal factory settings, you know. Um, so they lost that game 2-1 to Watford and of course that was a big win for Watford because you know of course Tunajua Kwenyewako Norwich were playing against um, Leeds United another cracker this one was going to be a cracker uh, Leeds United won that game 2-1 crazy ass game as in your bow I'm sure Leeds United lifungwa sijudeka extra time uko na upuzi additional time uko you know so it was a big win for Jesse, Jesse Marsh um, another win that was big was for West Ham they beat Aston Villa 2-1 Easy games out of this is a lot of additional time. Crazy, like they asked them, the Southampton Watford, while you get the Kasaba, 
Sijui West Ham Aston Villa sijui aliongeza dakika ngapi and for that uh, West Ham win of course the big talking point of course was uh, Yamolenko banging the second goal for West Ham and of course it was very emotional about it because we all know what's happening in Ukraine you know so yeah you got to feel for you got to feel for him you know for that uh Chelsea were playing against Newcastle uh game that was going to be tight and I was watching that game because kuna mtu wa Chelsea nilikuwa na troll that, that was a good game that was a good game. Chelsea were getting frustrated minute by minute by minute by minute by minute by minute. And I'm like, mm, can this just go on and on and on till the 19th goddamn minute? You know, I can tell you Chelsea fans for free. Nilikuwa hapo na kaza mdro. Yeah? I'm sure this one will, feel you, will make you feel very really nice. Nilikuwa hapo na kaza tu na Newcastle bana. Do, tam, do something. Do something. You know, surprise these buggers. You know, um, but they did not. Kai Havertz with a heck of a goal, man. Oh my Jesus. That goal was superb in every way possible. The long pass, the fast touch, and then the finish. Aish. Aish. Top notch. Top notch. I got to give uh, uh, credit to that. Um, and of course, Kai, Kai Havertz now has, do you how many games? He's scoring like, like he's scoring for fun now. Like, honestly, he's scoring for fun. So, yeah, clearly, Poli Poli on end at work is our story, Lukaku. Yeah, they're going uh, slowly forgetting. Of course, the Tamos facing Chelsea are still there. You know, they're not yet gone. They're still discussing with the government on how to go about it. Because, you know, they're going to when they're going to France on Wednesday. I don't know how exactly that's going to turn out when they are capped on spending £20,000 per trip. So, a bit crazy. Uh, of course, you're seeing the number three on their kids because it's, it's not like they have cancelled the contract. They were, they, were, they were considering it. It was under review, still under review. So, yeah, they might just, you know, yeah, they might just cut it or just set go on. So, yeah, there's that. Um, any other game that was played at five worth talking about? I think it's that. Uh, Villa losing. Uh, Southampton losing. Uh, Chelsea winning. Uh, Leeds winning. Yeah, those four games. And then, of course, we had the last one that was between uh, Arsenal versus Leicester City. A game that I thought we had to win, of course. But they, we, we do with Chenjanga because right now, Arsenal took a different sort of pressure. When you have pressure, you oh, like when you start in September, you're bottom of the table. So, of course, the pressure was for us to perform, to get up, you know, because we are way too poor, you know. Now, the pressure is not that. Pressure is now of expectations, of performance. We are expected now to win. You know, like we are expected to go, because you are winning, and you are doing well, and you are playing, you are, you are playing, yeah. We are playing well, you know. So, yeah, we are expected to win now, because, of course, the top four is ours to lose, I feel. We have, uh, how many games in Hanna? I think we have three or two. Three, still three. Over Man United, you are one point above them. So you get exactly why to under pressure ya kushinda sasa. And of course, we played against Leicester. Leicester wa kuchini. Tunajua Ivo. They are 11th at the table. Uh, they cannot defend set pieces. Thomas Party with a heck of a goal. Of course, a corner kick. Uh, and then he put it in back of the net. Because apparently, Leicester cannot defend set, piece, set pieces to save their lives. Even the goal that we scored in the second one was a penalty, yes. But it came from a set piece, a free kick. And of course, Carlos Yonku could not help himself but handle the ball. And of course, if you do that, of course, it's a penalty. And it was a very straightforward. But this you can know, But you could see once the ball hit the hand, definitely the trajectory of that ball changed. So definitely was going to be a pen without a shadow of a doubt. All right. And of course, we made it 2-0. One thing, the, the, the thing I, lack, I, I, I loved about that game is our dominance, man. We were, we were on another level, man. We were balling. I think I've been saying this for us now the last couple of weeks now. Thomas Party was brilliant. Need I, need I say about Martin Odegaard, man? Thank you. You know what? I can't believe that we bought Odegaard for 30 M. 30 fucking million, man. That was a steal. That dude, eh. I mean, is there any Astro fan who misses Ozil? Because he's slowly but surely getting replaced. I mean, Ashaku are replaced. I'm not even slowly but surely. He's, he's, he's been replaced. So Odegaard was brilliant. Even Kieran Tiendi was bowling, man. Everybody was having a fantastic time. Martinelli... Yani jana tulikuwa tu sawa. And then, we, of course, we got the clean sheet. Ah, my God. As in, it's a sharp contrast of the Arsenal that started the season. You know, and you're thinking now, if Arsenal go on like that, get the Champions League and you get a few, you know, big players because you get like at least two. Next season, Tatumbua. Ah, y'all better be ready. Y'all better be ready. So, a very good game. Of course, uh, tonight we have the last game between Crystal Palace. That win by they took us to fourth. Yeah, back at it. Uh, tonight we have Manchester City versus Crystal Palace, which is bound to be interesting. I'm sure all Liverpool fans will be supporting Crystal Palace. I know that for free. Um, so it's going to be a good cracker, that one for sure. In other leagues, we had, uh, like in La Liga, we had Barcelona winning. These guys just can't stop winning, man. Yeah, they just can't stop. 
scored four goals against Osasuna. Ferran Torres with a brace. Obama Young scored again. And then Ricky Pooch. Let's try Ricky Pooch. That dude, that goal, the last goal that he scored. Oh my God. That was brilliant. Hey, the confidence. I, and that guy is young, but I think he's still a teenager if I'm not wrong. Yeah, if he's not a teenager, he's 20 years old. So, very good performance by Barcelona. Um, in Syria, of course, Inter Milan drew with Torino. Inter Milan, Joe. Yes, history how they are running for Scudetto. And then that work here, Chile, Pole Pole. Teams like Milan won, of course, against Empoli. Napoli also won. I, I can't recall they were playing against who. But yeah, the, 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 the title is in Syria. I think it's the tightest one in Europe. Yeah, it's the tightest one in Europe. So, it's, it's going to be a very interesting one to watch. Of course, this Wednesday... The Premier League continues. Of course, we have Champions League games being played on Tuesday and Wednesday. We have United playing against Atletico. We have Akina Juve playing against Villarreal. And of course, we shall also be having Arsenal playing against Liverpool on Wednesday. So it's going to be a heck of a week. Action packed. To the core. So I'm looking forward to that for sure. I'm absolutely looking forward to that. So for me, that was the week that has been, man. The other highlight, of course, is teams like Gord Mahia. Getting beaten by Kenya police. Kenya police are taking the cream de la cream of everything. Coaching, players, nini. Hey. Pesa ikoko ni mingi sanas. But around the sirikali, ilipigo na sirikali. Yeah. So, crazy, man. Um, and that, that's just about that. I don't think there's anything else worth, worth mentioning about. This week, shall be having a podcast. So, be on the lookout for that. Uh, and also, next week, shall be trying to have a podcast. So, yeah. Next week, takuwa na kitiyo kuangeli. There's so much to talk about, man. Absolutely a lot. All right. Have a fantastic week. Don't forget, if you're watching this on YouTube, to like and subscribe. If you're on Instagram, go to YouTube. Check out our channel. Like and subscribe. So much content over there you can enjoy. And so much more coming up. Adios. Have a fantastic week. God bless.